off on a little adventure today. Uh, we're taking Harrison, who's in the back, and my nephew, James, we call Bob, he is in the back also. Uh, we're on school holidays at the moment, so we thought we would take them to have a look at a little attraction about uh, 50 kilometers away. I have no idea what that's in miles. I've got it here somewhere. So we're off to see some silo art. Uh, and I suppose it will be become apparent what that is when we get there. So got a little bit of a trip and uh, we'll see you there. So as you can see the board here, um, this just describes a little bit of the information about this um, particular site. Uh, came about from an idea from 2018. Uh, these are old grain storage silos and they've been here at this town called Colburn Abbam for a long time. And uh, yeah, a person came up with an idea about four or five years ago to get them painted up and the artist uh, Tim Bowtel uh, was commissioned to do the painting. and. He's done an absolutely amazing job. This part of Victoria was the area where the Tuangarung people, which is one of the, tribe, the Aboriginal First Nations tribes, uh, further south in our area, we're part of the Zha Zha Rung Nation. Um, so just different uh, groups of the Aboriginals that lived in the area. Uh, Colburn Abbam is the name of the town, and it's actually Aboriginal. It means where the red soil and the black soil meets. Uh, a little picture here with some of the native flora and fauna as well so uh, the river red gum grows along the waterways in this area and some of the beautiful wattle that you get in the area here as well just a little panel here talking about the country fire authority and the history there as i said the country fire authority is the uh, mainly volunteer organization that uh, has representational uh, stations in every rural area of victoria and uh, these are the guys that respond to the bushfires and grass fires and house fires uh, out in the, the smaller towns. A little panel here showing the significance of the railway line to Colburn Abbam and also many, many towns as uh, Victoria grew from uh, a single major city at Melbourne down on the port. Uh, certainly the growth and expansion of the railway system allowed goods and services to be transported all around. Um, certainly in the early years before we had trucks on the road, the railway was the lifeline.
We have one of the farmers doing a little bit of a burn off. I cannot see where they are though. They'll be up there in some of that smoke somewhere. Uh, there's, a, there's a truck or a ute to the left of the fire line up there. So yeah, keep it under supervision. Yeah, you can see uh, in between those two trees, there's uh, the fire up there. So it is under supervision, which is great. It looks like it's just the stubble left over from when the crop has been harvested. Uh, they burn it back and then it gets ploughed into the soil. So we've driven across to another little town just north of where we live. This is a place called Rochester. And they've also got some painted silos. Uh, as you can see here, the one facing it here has got a platypus. So the other side of the silos here in Rochester also feature two native animals. On the right here, we've got an Azure kingfisher. Um, the Australian kookaburra is a species of the kingfisher. So these guys have that uh, distinctive cackling laugh up in the up in the trees. On the left hand side we have a squirrel glider. So in Australia we have a few species of possum that have a membrane between their front and back legs. They're able to stretch that out and basically glide from tree to tree. So this is a very small species of a glider, endangered at the moment. Very, very important to our national identity. Uh, possums, kangaroos, emus, echidnas, platypus, kookaburras, all very much part of the Australian bush.